what we did also find is that fatty-breasted women really had a benefit as well. And since we were offering it to anyone that requested Toma, we, we had the benefit of learning this. This was a 66-year-old who came in with very chronic nipple irritation on the left side, so no new symptoms. CC and MLO views, these are fairly fatty breast tissues. Um, and we didn't really suspect anything until we got to the TOMO. Now here is the 2D CC view, and here's the 3D CC view. Very large spiculated density here in the anterior aspect of the breast and a second smaller area of distortion in the posterior aspect of the breast that I think would be very hard to see on the original mammogram. And also on the MLO view, same thing, but a little harder to see. Here is that spiculated area in the front of the breast, and the one more posteriorly is just more obscured on the MLO view. We have that magnified. This is the CC anterior mass and the posterior mass, again, with fairly prominent uh, area of distortion on both and on the MLO, anterior and posterior. The anterior mass could be found on ultrasound with very irregular hypochoic margins. Um, and the posterior mass we never could find on ultrasound. That one was biopsied stereotactically. These were both radial scars. And I think other people have mentioned that we are seeing many, many radial scars now with tomosynthesis, and we're trying to figure out if we need to rethink our our uh, thoughts about radial scar. Uh, this was a 54-year-old who had had a right lumpectomy in 2010. Here you can see her lumpectomy cavity on the right. These are CC and MLO views, not very dense breast tissues. We didn't expect it, but on tomosynthesis, in the upper aspect of the left breast, you could see a very small spiculated mass. This is the corresponding area on the 2D image where it really wasn't even as dense as the tissues more anteriorly, which were nothing. On the, ML, uh, sorry, on the CC view, same thing, very small spiculated mass, uh, kind of superimposed tissues in this area on the 2D view. On ultrasound, that was identified, and this was actually about a 3-millimeter invasive lobular carcinoma.